Now I've made a video about making a server and inviting people in Sonic Roblox to cart. There was one step that I didn't go over, which was port forwarding. It's required in order to allow people to connect to your server. In this video, I'll be explaining how to do it. Before getting into everything, I want to say that this process may be different for everyone. The reason I say that is because in order to port forward, you need to log into your router so that you can modify its settings. Mostly everyone watching this will have a different router model, which means that your user interface will be different compared to mine. So you may need to look at a manual or online for information about your specific router model such as how to log in as well as finding different settings. In this video, I'm going to be using a router model called the Motorola MG7540. With that being explained, let's get into this. I'm going to type in the default IP address, which is 192 period, 168 period, 0 period, 1. I've been taken to the login page of my router. Once logged in, I'm going to click on advanced settings, hover over to advanced router, and then click on forwarding. Now I'm going to use the command prompt in order to get some information I need to enter my router's settings. This may differ based on your operating system, but on Windows, type in CMD in the Windows search bar and then click on the command prompt application. Now type in ipconfig in the command prompt and then press enter. Just a heads up, the different addresses and other stuff you see is vital information. So be cautious by not sharing these to strangers. Anyways, I'm going to copy the IPv4 address and then head back to my router settings. I'll then click on add underscore IPv4 and then enter in my IPv4 address under local. Start ports and end ports under local and external will be set to 5029. Protocol will be set to UDP and then have it set to enable. I'll click on save and then make sure that I have the Sonic Roblast 2 cart application set to public and private, which is done in Windows Defender Firewall. Once all that is done, I'll open up the game and create a server. Make sure to have advertise set to yes as well as a server name. Since the server is not created, I'm going to a website called SRB2 Cart Server Browser. You can find the link to the website down in the description. Wait for about a minute and then type in the name of your server where it says filter servers. If your server has successfully port forwarded, then you'll find your server and be able to click on it to see all the server's information on the right. That's how you port forward in Sonic Roblox 2 Cart. I know this tutorial will have different perspectives for everyone mainly because of the many different types of routers. If you have any questions about this tutorial, then feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to help out. As always everyone, thanks for watching and have a good one.